think you'll be able to hold down a job so that you won't have to worry about other people helping you out? My 38-year-old brother Jeff is a mega moocher. He's been living off my 91-year-old grandpa in his basement for 18 years. He just took over the place. To be called the Mega Moocher does hurt because I haven't done it intentionally. I've only had to stay here during downtime. But it seems like since 1990, it's all been downtime. The amount of money that I have spent on Jeff over the years would be approximately $35,000. Grandpa said he could stay there until he got on his own. Weeks have turned into months, months have turned into years. Nothing's changing. Grandpa has told me. My brother approached him and said, is there any money left in your inheritance that I can have today? In all the years that my brother has lived with my grandpa, he's only paid $50 one time for rent. This summer, I was given a, a slip from my sister that said, pay rent or leave. My sister, Janelle, has become involved in what I consider to be my business between my grandfather and myself. He's always full of excuses why he doesn't want to work. The way I perceive it is, as long as I don't have a family to support, I don't have to work as hard. I was at a birthday party, and I heard someone ask my brother, what is it that you're doing nowadays? And he said, well, I'm self-employed. I about spit out my drink. You just don't need much. Is that your position? You just, it doesn't take much money if you live because you don't have a wife and kids to support and a bunch of bills to pay. It takes less, but that's not an excuse. But you're going to sell this engine. Amongst other things. On I the have. side of the road? You're, I mean, you're sitting on the side of the road sell, to sell the engine? That's not the only place I've sold it. I go to shows. We haven't sold it at all, right? Because you only have one engine. No, I've, I've got several. Oh, you've got several. Yeah. You, you put them together and then sell them? Matter of fact, the, at the last swap meet, I sold the one that was in pieces. Yeah. But selling it on the side of the road doesn't seem like a very good business plan. I, I, well, it's not in a ditch. But you're like counting on somebody driving by and saying, you know, I, I love my car. I really do. If it just had an engine. I, <laughs> I mean, you, you, need to get, you need to get where they sell these things, like auto do, shows I and do. stuff like that. I do. Where you can get, like, a booth and sell it. And if you're selling auto parts, that, I mean, that could be a viable thing to do. How much have you sold? Over the years? No, say in the last year. Several hundred dollars. Are you taking advantage of your grandfather? I have. Are you now going to leave there and start taking advantage of your uncle? No. Because you said you are thinking about moving to your that uncle. That was just too. one option. Him and I get along because he's in the cars too. So he said, come down. And we'll find, we can find some work for you. Yeah. What business is this of yours? I guess that... Good question, I, right? I, um, Great question. I see what he's done to my grandpa <clears throat> and my parents, and it breaks my heart. But why don't they step up and, and say, stop this. I mean, wh tried. Why, why is this your job? Because I, I feel like I've been on the sidelines for years and years and years and nothing has But changed. maybe you should be on the sidelines because he's not your kid. He's not my kid. They can but tell him no, right? I see what my parents have tried to do and I've seen what Grandpa Rex tries to do and sometimes when they approach him and confront him about possibly working or trying to find a job, he gets irritated, he gets angry, and they're afraid of what he might do when his temper flares, so they back off. Are you violent? I have been. Yeah. And so if you leave your but grand... It, but the violence has been towards my parents, not my grandfather. It doesn't matter. He's afraid, too, because he's seen the, the violence towards my parents. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.